Good morning. Day 236, cooking down the refrigerator, freezer, and working pantry meals. With very low shopping, I buy mostly produce and bread and not much else. So trying to keep that grocery bill down because it's getting crazy out there with the prices. Seems like everything costs five dollars. That seems to be the sweet spot for <laughs> the inflation. Well, at least for food. Anyway, today is only going to be 73. It's going to be a nice day. Perfect for working in the garden. So I might do that. I'll probably work a little bit in the house. I have other things I need to get done. So we'll see. And I really, really need to get into the garage because it is a mess. I've been saving cardboard boxes to put down on the floor of the garden and uh, they need to be either thrown out or used but I'm using those to put under the pavers where I'm going to put my little greenhouse. So that'll be a big pile of boxes out of the garage once I get that done. So I had a really, really nice time at my daughter's yesterday. We um, had a cookout. I took my Beyond Burgers with me and they were delicious. So we made two of the Beyond Burgers and I only ate actually half of a one because um, they had fresh made french fries and salads and all kinds of really good things. My daughter made cabbage and noodles. She does a really nice dish of that. So I was pretty full, so I only ate half, but my son took the other burger and a half home, and my family is not plant-based. Nobody in the family is except me. But they do like the Impossible and the Beyond Burgers. So they are carnivore approved. So anyway, I took some of the old plants out of my garden yesterday. I'll take you out there in a little while. And we'll do a brief little tour. I'll show you what was damaged and what I had to take out. But the perimeter where I had the tomatoes and the peppers was pretty good. It was more in the middle of the garden. So I don't know what's for breakfast today. I still have lots of choices and um, I'll be back in a little while and we'll see what's for breakfast. Day 236. Well, good morning. Cheers. I thought I'd have my coffee with you guys this morning. Yesterday I got a little bit done on in my dining room. I um, moved that little table that had the plants where I did a lot of my starts last year and I'm not doing that this year. I'm going to confine my starts to upstairs. Uh, one of my extra bedrooms I'm just making into uh, basically a plant room slash guest room because there is a little bed in there. But uh, and I have some office supplies in there, so it, it's like a multifunction room. My, my two extra bedrooms are multifunction rooms. Uh, one has my crafts and a bed, uh, and the other one has my plants and a bed. So I do use my, my rooms in my house. Um, I don't really close any of them off, <clears throat> but... Um, so I did get that done. I got that table moved out and I have to repot uh, most of my plants that I have in the dining room. Especially my um, Christmas cacti and I have a lot of, um, I think they're chiffaleras, the, the one big huge plant that I have in there. Uh, and I have a smaller one, and I think I want to put the two in the same pot. Just make one 
bigger pot with multiple plants. Um, because it's getting too, everything's getting too big in there. So uh, that's on my list of things to do, but that's not urgent. And I really hate repotting plants because it makes such a mess, but it needs to be done. So I've got that that I need to do, but not today. Uh, but I do want to clean off my dining room table. Now you would think that that's like an hour project, which it could be, but I want to make sure that everything that I put away isn't just crammed in any cupboard willy-nilly. I want to organize it before I put it away. And some of it I'm actually still using because I still haven't done the, the decoupage on the mason jars. So until I get that done, some of the things are going to remain out. But a lot of the things on the table can be put away. And normally my dining room is pretty good, it's pretty clear, but as I did the projects in my uh, living room and kitchen, it just became very, very cluttered. So, uh, but, you know, there's no hurry. It's just me. I'm my only task mask master. So, and I'm trying to be kind to myself and, you know, do the slow living and um, just easily working through my to-do list without adding a whole lot of more things to do. I have certain things in my mind that I want to get done by, let's say, the end of this year, and then I want to settle down and not find more things to do, more projects. So some of the things that I want to do, um, I have an attic. It's, it's not a walk-in attic, per se. I can stand up, up there. And I, that's just basically storage. But there's a lot of things up there that I don't use anymore. And I've been purging that for a couple years already because it gets really hot up there. So I can only do it during certain seasons of the year. And uh, I had stored clothes up there. And um, at one point I had a little art business. So I had a lot of that stuff up there, extra lamps and old stereos, you know, those sorts of things. So slowly I've been purging the stuff up there. Uh, most of the clothes, or a lot, of, I'd say half the clothes, half the clothes are gone um, because they were old. They were in good shape. There was nothing wrong with them. And like I've, I've said before, I have a classic style, so a lot of the things don't go out of style. But, um, you know, I had things up there like uh, long sleeve t-shirts that were a turtleneck. And, you know, when I was younger, I liked to wear those because it kept me warm. But I can't stand that around my neck now. So those types of things all had to go. So, uh, but I'm not finished with my attic. So, but that's like on the to-do list after I get my upstairs bedrooms copacetic. And then of course there's my garage and every year I have to do things in my garage because it gets messed up from gardening and you know like I said I put boxes out there and then I use those under my mulch for um, you know to keep the weeds down and I also save some boxes for purging so that, you know, when I purge, I have a box. I either use that or I use those big black garbage bags because when the donation people come, I never know if it's going to be a rainy day or, you know, a nice day. So the things I'm donating have to be kept dry. So, um... But other than that, you know, I'm, I'm systematically working my way through my house and I'm not overwhelmed with clutter anymore, but I still have a lot. 
I, I really do. Um, <clears throat> when I moved into this house, dry throat. When I moved into this house, it was the first time I actually had a, a really good job. I made decent money for, well, I was already way older, so uh, I made decent money for, let's say, five years. And I had never had my own house with my own furniture that, you know, I, I had, like, divorce furniture, and when I lived with <clears throat> my past significant other, uh, he had furniture, so I didn't need to buy any furniture when we bought a house together. So we used his furniture, and I didn't buy any new furniture. And honestly, I hated his furniture. <laughs> it was just big and bulky and ugly. Not my style at all. So... Um, <clears throat> When we split up, I had this house built, and it was the first time that I had ever chosen furniture and decor with just me. I mean, with my kid's dad, of course, we started out when we were young, in our early 20s, and we bought things together, you know, so uh, that, that was a compromise in as far as uh, decor and uh, furniture and things, although <clears throat> he really didn't care too much, you know. Uh, it was pretty much, I could pick the style that I liked. But this was different. When I moved into this house, it was just totally different. So I picked everything that went together, the decor. My house was uh, old world style. <clears throat> My kitchen still is. But my living room was nothing like it is now. Now it's kind of fun and funky and but it was it was elegant before. So now I'm at a point where having three dogs, I have to sort of decorate around something that's practical and really inexpensive because they do ruin a lot of things. I would not have chosen the living room furniture that I have now if it hadn't have been for the dogs. I would have invested a little bit more money, but I figured there's no point because it's not going to last anyway. So I went for cheap rather than expensive um, because the, the furniture that I had in there was expensive. I mean, not like over-the-top expensive, but it was good lazy boy furniture. <clears throat> but it got ruined. So I didn't want to do that again. And then if, if in five years or so I need new furniture in there, then it's, you know, I've maybe invested less than, well, maybe $1,000, you know, for all the furniture in the room. So, uh, you know, it's no big deal then if I have to toss it. <clears throat> so anyway, that's a little bit of my backstory, and um, I just really enjoy having, <laughs> having my own house. Um, it, it's really um, very uh, relaxing to me and uh, very calming, so I really enjoy having my own house. So anyway, um, I don't need to cook dinner today. I have my leftover stew, so I'll have that, and um, that's enough actually for another, at least another two meals. So, and I've decided, I've made the decision, I'm going to buy a very small inexpensive freezer. <clears throat> Home Depot has a, a five and a five point something cubic foot chest freezer 
that I think would be just perfect. And the what I want it for is not to start restocking, but if I have extra garden uh, produce that I need to freeze, or if I make meals in my slow cooker and I don't want to eat it for several days, I'll have room to put prepared meals in the little freezer. <clears throat> Plus, like I said before, if, if I want to buy a pizza that's this big, it won't fit in my freezer here in the kitchen. Uh, it's The box is too big and the pizza is too big. So, um, <clears throat> or if I want to freeze like a, a tray of peppers or green beans or whatever uh, in a single layer, I can't do that in this freezer either. So, but I want a very small freezer just for the overflow. But like I said, I'm not going to stock it up. I'm going to continue to do the freezer cook down because this food that I have now if I don't do that, it's going to get old and I'm going to have to toss it and I don't want to do that. But I'm finding I do need um, somewhere for like an extra loaf of bread or, um, you know, extra produce that I need to freeze because I can't eat it all. Because that happens often. You know, if you go to the store and you buy a, a bag of produce, whatever it is, <clears throat> A lot of times it's it's too much for one person and if you buy these things individually they're way more expensive than if you buy them already packaged. So that's my plan. Um, oh and for the holidays that was another thing. If I want to have my family over for the holidays and I want to make some things ahead of time like maybe cookies or you know, whatever um, I have nowhere in my freezer to put any of that. And I'll always have a stocked freezer in the kitchen. You know, I don't want it so empty that I only have a few things in in the freezer. So I plan on keeping that stocked up. I'm going to slowly bring things from over at my mom's. For those of you that don't know that are new here, when my freezer broke, <clears throat> I had to find somewhere to put my my food so my mom had an extra freezer which she offered me but it's too big uh, I don't want to run such a big freezer because of the electrical cost so I plan on bringing the food from there over here to keep this freezer stocked anyway that's the plan so I'm going to enjoy my coffee and in a little bit we'll go out and I'll show you uh, what's up with my garden. All right, I'll be back. Okay, let's see what's for breakfast, day 236. All right, let's check out my refrigerator. Okay, my grandson's been using my refrigerator too, which is perfectly fine. So those belong to him, that belongs to him, this. <laughs> so um, I think today I'm going to, I'm going to go down here and have an avocado mash. And I have three of those left. I still have one apple. Let's see what else is in here. This is all lettuce. I have carrots left. I have some of this coleslaw mix that I bought when I bought the other produce things. I have three peppers left. I have some Greek yogurt my leftover stew. In here I picked some beans and tomatoes from my garden. So I put those in there. The cherries are gone. I have the olive bread. I have rolls. Um, 
I still have lots of eggs. I have some biscuits from the other day that I bought actually for my grandson, but I might have a couple of those with my stew. I think that would be good. I still have lots of cheese, and then, of course, I bought this on sale. I couldn't resist. It was $3.49. Usually it's a whole dollar more. So I got that. I got a couple different cheeses here. Still have some um, feta crumbles. I have some chopped up peppers and celery that I'm going to have with the salad. Uh, in here I have a piece of cake that my mother gave me. And then I still have plenty of um, tofu, some condiments. I still have lots of condiments. So that's what's in my refrigerator uh, up to now. And it looks really full, but like I said, a lot of this belongs to my grandson. So I don't count that. And over here I still have some olives and jellies couple different creamers, whipped creams, still have some coconut milk. I have to use that up. Things for cooking, different condiments, and down here I have ketchup and other condiments. So I have a lot of condiments. So that is what's in my refrigerator. Day 300 and, no, day 236. All right, I will meet you at the stove. Okay, well, I cooked up all my chard. This thing was massive full, and now it's just a little tiny bit. So um, I'm probably going to freeze part of that, but that was from all the chard that I took out from my garden yesterday. Some of it was smashed. Um, and I just kind of did a little clean up there. But still more to do. So anyway, here is my breakfast this morning. Just the avocado mash with a nice red tomato. Not from the garden. I have a few that are just starting to be red. So within the next week I will have garden tomatoes. And then my usual, just some Greek yogurt, plain yogurt, that I flavored up with a sweetener. Put a little bit of um, caramel syrup in it and topped it with some cinnamon sugar. And these are two little tiny onions <laughs> that were actually the inside of a red onion that I had bought. And it was... Um, uh, you know how onions get the little sprouts on the inside. So I planted them and this is what they grew into. So I'll be eating these in a salad. And then I had some lemons and limes that I had gotten from a produce box, the five dollar produce box. Those needed to be Something needed to be done with those, so I just juice them, and I'll use those in some salad dressing or whatever I need lemons and limes for, and I put, put them together. I had one lemon and three little limes, so now it's lemon-lime. All right, so there's my breakfast for today, and, um, and this is why I need a, a small freezer because I'm going to freeze half the chard and probably eat the other half. So anyway, I'll be back in a little while and we'll see what else okay, is going Okay, I'm out here in my garden. Just want to take a look and show you guys. Uh, see my <laughs> Rose of Sharon? I can barely walk under it. So that was taken down by the tree. but. Here is my garden, so it's not too bad. Um, all this around here is okay. 
I have a couple of beautiful ripe tomatoes over there. Um, but all this is knocked over. I still have some kohlrabi here that I'm just going to leave in and see if it develops into anything. Uh, my zucchini isn't looking too happy. It, it got kind of smashed. And I had to cut down all the chard. I left some of the insides hoping that it will grow more. Uh, my eggplant is doing okay. I'm surprised that didn't get damaged more. Uh, it's actually got some blooms on it, but I don't know. My peppers aren't looking too happy. They're, they've got something, something going on here. The leaves are kind of starting to curl, so I have to check those out. And then I actually emptied, I started emptying some of the grow bags. Some of this just had bolted broccoli in it, so... So I'm going to go pick some of my tomatoes, and um, so that's my garden. It, uh, it's not as bad as it could have been. So the tree will be down within a week or so, and yeah, it's, it's up there. So I'm hoping that I can get this back in order before um, the rest of the summer. I still haven't planted anything in my city pickers and now I'm glad I didn't because those got knocked over. They weren't damaged but so we'll see. Alright, I just wanted to update you on my garden and uh, I do actually have a, a head of cabbage growing there. And this one is looking pretty sad. But everything's getting eaten up by something. I have to get out and do a little little work out here. <clears throat> All right. I'll be back with dinner in just a short while. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching!